This segment of Dead Down Wind's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer, and by Tight Point Broadheads. Hunt with the best. South Texas is a harsh, unforgiving environment, and because of which, years ago, deer management was born. I had the opportunity to talk to David Walker, who was kind enough to take some time out of his busy schedule to fill me in somewhat on the where's and why's of Texas management. One of the things that really is happening to a large degree um, with ranches that used to be, uh, and originally they were 40, 50, 60,000 acres, they're being broken up into smaller portions, 5,000 acres, 10,000 acres, which by Texas standards isn't, isn't necessarily huge as it was in the old days. So those numbers in the old days were, some of the ranches down here were 100, 200,000 in one, in one chunk. But what, what a lot of the guys are doing um, on these smaller pieces is they're high fencing those, uh, those sections of land. And they're doing it because it's as important in managing a deer herd to keep the other guy's deer out as it is important to keep your deer in. And um, so that, a lot of advantages to that and uh, able to, to juice up your genetics when you've got a controlled herd like that because of a high fence. On, on this section, we, this is a contiguous uh, two parcels of land that uh, together are 30,000 acres, so that's probably about 40 square miles of Texas. No high fence, it's all low fence. And uh, our dynamics are a little bit different than a high fence place because we will, we will own, in the areas that we hunt around our border fences, um, we'll, be, we'll be helping the, the ranchers uh, around us to improve their deer herd as well as we do the supplemental feeding. So it's, um, it's a challenge and some of these South Texas deer, uh, they radio collared one I heard of a few years back and uh, instead of thinking that the a deer is going to just stay within a square mile, they, they tagged this deer in one area and they knew where he lived but they found him dead 10 miles away. He just went cross country. Uh, during the rut and ended up uh, 10 miles away so uh, that's one of the things that's exciting about this old wild country we don't know what deer might show up particularly when it's low fence ranch like this management of the land does not just help deer numbers but also goes a long way toward the perpetuation and maintenance of all of the mammals reptiles and birds that call the brush country home David also pointed out that supplemental feeding is also congruent to a complete management program. This is a gravity flow. It's 800 pounds of corn or protein pellets. We can take out the slinger mechanism, the battery operated slinger mechanism, drop it, and then we attach this and it's, uh, then it becomes a gravity flow. Uh, anytime they want it, they can come from four sides. And uh, we, we set up uh, cameras to film this, and it's amazing what will show up. Mainly the bucks will just kind of take over these pens. They eat all they want to. In the peak of our feeding season, we will empty those 800-pound uh, 800, 800 feeders in about uh, from 10 days to two weeks. So the deer like it, and they eat a lot of it.